Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Are you peace be on you? My dear focus students, today we are going to take the second lesson in the distance of online planning and teaching. Uh, you remember we are talking about oil crops. The scrub is that we from profile oil. We gave them another name for it, vegetable oils. Vegetable oils. You are familiar with them. We said that, you know, oil is in fact, it's origin, most originally in this time, it's mostly it was from animals. But development has been reached, and finally, the oil can be also taken from <coughs> can be taken from the crop. So we talked about the first crop called it, uh, uh, palm oil. That was our previous lesson, and today we are going to talk about two other important crop oils. The first one is the coconut oil. We also call it as little bumba. As you can see from the diagram, that's the coconut oil. That's the coconut oil. That internal part, which is rich in oil, as you can see from there, is called kernel. So, the tree grows in most wet tropical coast lowland. So, generally, this tree is well suitable for the wet tropical climate. In another way, you know, the equatorial climate. Tropical, wet tropical cost lower. In terms of latitude and longitude, in terms of longitude, it, it, I mean latitude, it likes 15 degrees north and 15 degrees south. So 15 degrees north in the northern hemisphere, those countries that are found in there, and 15 degrees south in the southern hemisphere. So the coconut oil, it reaches a height of 25 meters. With all its leaves and fruit is arising from the end of the trunk, from the end of the trunk, <coughs> from the end of the trunk. So this tree can reach up to 60 years. So the life expectancy of this coconut fruit or tree is up to 60 years old. So the same life expectancy with the human being, because mostly human being, as our prophet peace be upon him told us. Or he said, my being is a teen, I said, hey, uh, the, the life expectancy of my people is between 60 to 70. So this tree can reach up to 60 years old. And in terms of height, it can go up to 80 feet. And reach, uh, and reach three pairs, several bunch of coconut, which my number as many as 50. So the tree can live for 60 years, and the tree can also bear several bunch of coconut which my which my number as many as 50 at one time so the coconut oil or the coconut tree consists of an outer fibrous cover so we're talking about the fruit it has two parts the first part is outer fibrous cover which includes a hard shell liner liner with liner with liner uh, line it with, you know what we call sorry, uh, a white meat, okay, a white meat, the white meat that you can see from there is called, is called a kernel, kernel, so uh, the coconut consists of two parties, the, as you can see from the diagram here, the outer party is a hard shell, it's, it, 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 this, this hard shell with white meat is called kernel and this one it has a high oil value and the cover as you can see that you know gray party is the covering so the gray party is the covering and the internal party with the white meal is called kernel and the white meat is covered with hard shell so what are the growing conditions the kernel is also called dry cover so in this important point is you should be able to know in terms of climate <coughs> the different places it, it can be found. What tropical climatic? What what are for latitude is 15 degrees and 15 degrees south? The height it reaches 25 meters. How many areas this fruit can exist in 60 areas? And as many as 50, you know, coconut uh, so, can be from the branches of the tree. It has two parties. <coughs> the outer fibrous part, the cover, cover part with the hard shell, 
and the internal part call it the kernel. What are the growing conditions of coconut oil? The growing conditions of the coconut oil they include a temperature of around 26 degrees Celsius, rainfall of around 1875, and at the same time well drained soil. So the temperature should be around 26 degrees Celsius, a little bit warm, and the rainfall should be more should be around 1875 mm, and the, the, the soil should be well drained soil. Okay. So the question now is how are we going to cultivate? The cultivation of the coconut oil is the same way that you know we talked about the palm oil. If you remember we said the palm oil is cultivated from a seed. And then that seed is you know interplanted with other crops as a nursery. So after a period of time when it reaches when it becomes, you know, a little bit grown up, uh, it is taken to the plantations, the big farms. So now the plant is grown from a seed, which is the coconut first in the nursery, okay, where shade is provided. Shade is needed to preserve the moisture. After six months, it's the young plant, the young plant that was planted from the seed is called seedling are ready for transplanting in the plantation, are ready to be planted in the farm, in the big farm. So first from a seed, and then after it germinated, it is provided shade, after six months, finally it is taken to the big farm, it's finally it is taken to the big farm. And then the, the way they are planted, they are set in rows, and after about seven years, the young tree put their first food. <coughs> so as you can see from here, <coughs> sorry, they are set in rows. So in a line, after seven years, this is the time it bears the first fruit. Imagine, this tree is not a chunk, okay? You are going to take advantage of the tree for almost 60 years. So. A tree that's going to exist in 60 years, and if we are providing you crops, cannot mature within one, two, three years. You have to put a lot of effort into it. Seven years, after seven years, <coughs> finally you get your crop. Finally you get your crop. So they are set in rows, and after about seven years, the young trees bear their first fruit. So how is this fruit processed? After the coconut <coughs> are collected, the outer husk is the cover part. The hard part that we just saw are removed, and then the nuts, the internal part, are split open. The nuts, what is inside is called the nut, the crop is inside, it's taken out, and then it is dried in the sun. When it's dried, what would happen? The, the part that have the oil, which we, we call the dry kernel or the kernel, it shrinks. It becomes smaller and then it is taken out from their hard shells by using a knife. And then this dried kernel, when it is dried, is called cobra with a 60% of oil. So this one, the dried cobra, which is rich in oil, the white part is taken to the meal. It's packaged, cartoons, and baggies. And finally, it is taken to the factories, to the oil mills, to the oil factories. Who are going to, you know, take out the oil from it? So, extracting the oil, mostly machines they do. Machines they cut the cobra into small pieces. The cobra, the internal part, is cut into small pieces that was dried. And then they are passing through heavy rollers, heavy, heavy rollers, heavy machines will, will really extract the oil. So those machines, they are going to destroy it and then they are going to take out the oil. What about the residue? Because after the oil is taken out, there is left the offer. That left the offer or that residue 
Brazil is passed into round slabs is known as cobra cakes. So this one is made into something like a cake and it's sold to provide the poultry, the poultry, the berries. So this becomes the residue after the oil has been extracted from the coconut fruit. There is a residue called a cobra cakes. And this one is given to the chicken, to the fowls, to the berries. Because there are some, uh, there's what we call a peltry farming. The process, the, the farming or, or the, 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 the taking care of the, uh, of the, of the berries. So now the peltry is provided as a food. So now let us go back to our topic. We started from the first part coconut. What kind of climatic region is found? What tropical coast known? 15 degree, 15 degree now. And so it reaches up to 80 feet, 25 feet. It can reach up to 68. It has two parts: outer fibrous copper, which has a hard shell, and a, an inner part with a meat, white meat called kernel. What are the growing conditions? 26 degrees Celsius, a rainfall of 175 millimeter, well drained sandy soil. And then we're talking about how it's cultivated. It's cultivated from a seed, and that seed is planted in a different place from the where it is going to be planted later as a nursery. It stays there for a while, it's taken care of. Shade is provided to prevent loss of moisture. And at the same time, after six months, the young plant is taken to the big farms. And then, after almost seven years, the tree will give you their fairest fruit. You can take advantage for another at least 53 years. How is this processed? You know, it is first the coconut after the coconuts are collected, okay, from the tree. The outer husks are removed because it has a husk, it has a covering. The nuts are then split open. Then it is opened. The nut, the internal part are removed. And when, when the nuts are split open, when they are opened, first they are not removed, they are dried in the sun. So the, the dried, when it dries, that, that's called the kernel, okay? So the kernel is shrink. Anything that, that, that dries, it shrinks, it becomes smaller because of the sun. And then they are taken on by using the kernel from the kernel knife. So the dried kernel is called a cobra. It has most of the oil, 6%. It's sent to the Factories. Well, how do the factories extract the oil? Machines, they cut the copper into small pieces and then they destroy and they the heavy rollers are passed through it. <laughs> Finally, they extract the oil. What about the resilient? It's called it copper cactus and it becomes a food for the berries, especially the chicken and the fowls and the other berries that are, you know, reared. What are the main regions of coconut? The main region is of coconut, I will just be naming uh, Insula so, so, Southeast Asia, Eastern Island of Philippines, Malaysia, Sumatra, Sri Lanka, India, New Guinea, Seychelles, Fiji, and Solomon Islands. These are the countries that produce mostly Southeast Asia. Trade Malaysia, Sri Lanka, and Philippines are the three major exporters of the world. The three major exporters are Malaysia, Sri Lanka, and Philippines. What are the main importers of this, you know, coconut fruit, U.S. and European countries? What are the advantage? The use of coconut. The leaves and trunk provide materials for many shelter. So the first thing is the leaves and the trunk, it, it provides shelter because it, it, it has a very big leaves and the trunk is very big. The fruit is provide drink and fruit at the same time. The hard shells can be made into utensils. The hard shells, because it has a hard shell as we said, the hard shells when collected it can be made into different utensils, uh, like cows, you know, plates, those that are used for eating. Well, what about the fiber? We said it has a outer covering, and that outer covering it has a fiber, make like you know, a don't work like that. Fiber what don't work. Like so make by love I laid out a coil and this is very important in terms of commercial. It can be made into different things like baggies or clothes or type. So the leaves they provide shelter for a human being, the fruit is 
can be used for the drinking of food and at the same time the hard shell can be made into utensils as well the fiber to make balanella to no color coir balanella okay that the second point today is groundnut what we call loaves so originally the groundnut was from was to south america but now it is cultivated in many parts of the world the climatic place that is cultivated is tropical and subtropical countries china southern state of usa india and parts of west africa so it is unusual it's unusual plant which bears small yellow flowers which bend towards the ground after fertilization so after fertilization it doesn't grow up it goes down the flower stalk then grows rapidly to push the flower head below the soil so the fruit is a part okay a part in terms of structure it's a small part a part it has two series okay it has two series each one has two series and those two series fall a few inches below the ground few inches below the ground and mature up about three months so it, the fruit of this tree we are going to use in the ten part and originally it was from South America but now many parts of the world they cultivate even in our country we we, we sometimes do but it's not more it's a lot but Ethiopia is the one that is famous with it and most of the ground that comes from in our country from Ethiopia so it becomes mature after almost three months this is the diagram of the ground as you can see from there each one has two series it has a covering and that covering should be split open it has a lot of oil a lot of oil that's why i do not advise to consume a lot a lot of uh, granite because it has a lot of oil at least a, a small amount if you when it's a week is is, a, is good for the health so it grows so which we, we region is which have the following ground conditions so this is what it nearly is 26 degrees celsius temperature a rainfall of 500 millimeter well drained soil so in terms of soil they are the same in the both is soil well drained soil but the number of temperature and rainfall is different how are we going to harvest after the fr fruit is harvested so first you have to harvest it from the tree so when you collect that you know body sun fruit is split open okay the nuts are extracted from the shells the nuts means the, the fruit is which are inside are extracted from the shells because it has a covering you know nowadays we don't see the groundnut with the with the shell but i remember a long time ago people used it to sell in the way it was you know harvested they cut it down and then they use it to cross it even with, 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 with the covering in it. And then they use it to sell like that. But now it's already processed. First, when it's cut, the nuts are extracted from the shells and they are crushed to extract the oil. So the, the, the same way will be crushed. They are destroyed to extract the oil using a, a, a special design of mills and machines. The oil is, made, is used for different things like making in the margarine oil soup soap and plastics what about the residue <coughs> the residue it reaches is full of in protein and it makes a high quality of cattle food so it's provided to the cattle even it can be used to make clothes you may be surprised but that's what they do sometimes uh, uh, so high quality of cattle food and sometimes it's eatable into clothes so that's all for today and i hope you understand we're talking about the granite and the main important part of the granite is originally from south america but now many different areas in the world it's tropical and subtropical climatic countries like china usa india and parts of west africa so this tree it matures about three months and if the fruit is colored part it has also two seeds so this is the growing condition 26 degrees celsius a rainfall of 500 millimeter well drained soil so when we are going to harvest first we harvest the crop and then we we open the nuts and then we take it out and we extract the oil from it so we use it many different things oil soup and plastic what about the the residue the residue is full of protein and it can be provided as a food for the cattle sometimes it can be made into cooking and these are your questions okay
I hope you can take a snapshot from it and you will be able to read. Uh, that's for all today. I'm saying to you, Asalaamu Alaikum. Stay at home, okay? Be careful. COVID-19 is a reality. We need to be careful. We are Muslims and, you know, in our religion, it is very important that we take care of our health. And, you know, our Prophet said, At-Tuhuru Shadr al-Iman. Tuhuru Shadr al-Iman. So, what they are saying, okay, wash your hands. We, we have been doing that five times a day, prob but now with a soap, okay? Try to wash your hands. Avoid greeting, even if it's not mandatory to greet people with the hands. So, just say, Salaamu Alaikum with your hands on. And don't use this, the Indian greeting, okay? Many, many young teenagers are using that. That's not good because the way they greet is religious. We are different from them, so that's all I tell you. Just you can say salam alaikum and don't greet. Be careful, inshallah. Stay at home, stay safe. Uh, inshallah, I hope that it will be off and we come back to each other because I really miss you guys a lot. Uh, salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.